Hey Merfolk! So I'm casually sitting down to do my makeup. I just felt like it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. We're gonna see. I am feeling slightly dramatic. I'm gonna try not to get too quiet because when I get in the zone I tend to get really really quiet but we'll see. I feel like no brows today so I am just gonna flatten them down using some spirit gum. I have not been enjoying glue stick or wax on my brows. There is such a thing as your brows being too sparse for any kind of brow covering product, to be honest. I feel like for me, what works best is just flattening them out with some spirit gum and just using my foundation or concealer to cover the hairs. I'm gonna try not to get too much of this on my skin, so I'm just going to brush some spirit gum on a spoolie and I'm gonna brush this through the hairs on my brows. I like to go in several different directions and then just pull them up. Just to make sure all of those hairs are coated. I'm just letting the glue dry on my brows. And playing Mystic Messenger. <laughs> Would you like to see a photo of my boyfriend? Okay, now that this seems dry, I'm gonna go over it with some RCMA No Color Powder. Get a nice layer of powder there. Do you see that? That's where the glue wasn't dry enough. I'm just gonna brush the extra away. Now I'm gonna use some Dermacol Makeup Cover and I'm getting a thick layer of this over my brows. I'm just taking this Real Technique sponge to again go over the edges and using it also to take whatever's left on the back of my hand to go over all of that. I'm also bringing it down under my eyes a little bit. I'm gonna grab some more of that loose powder from RCMA just to make sure that foundation on my brows is completely set. I'm gonna start by using these two eyeshadow sticks by Kiko. This one is a number 31 and it's a nice cornflower blue. And then we have this one in number 44 and this is a nice ocean blue. I'm starting with the cornflower blue one first. And I'm blending it out with a Real Techniques based shadow brush. And I'm really just dabbing the brush on top of this so I don't move any of that foundation that we have underneath and those powders and everything. You know, just really working this cream and make sure the blend is as nice as I want it to. And I'm taking it into my nose and out through the brows. Now I'm taking the darker blue and I'm going under the brow, just above my socket, but again just taking it more so on the inner part of the eye. And I'm blending it out through the socket, creating kind of a fake lid and regretting it, perhaps. If I ever need help blending, I go over to the back of my hand where I still have some of that Dermacol just on my finger and I take it along the edges. This just makes the surface a little bit more emollient and it's just easier to go over. It's also like a magic eraser. When I work on other people I'm fairly fast but on myself I like to take forever because it's the only opportunity that I have to really really take my time and try to make everything as perfect as possible. I'm very much a perfectionist and I have to swallow my perfectionism when I work on other people because you really have to be fast and confident that you're gonna get the job right the first time, you know? And I usually am or I try to be that person. And on myself I can just really get lost in thought and that's really nice. Now I have this eyeshadow by Nabla. This is called New Heaven. This is more of an aqua blue. And I'm taking some of this on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna do this, just go up and down right near the nose. 
I'm not going to make it too symmetrical. So one side is going to go a little bit higher than the other. And I'm going to take some of that green over here as well. And just blend it towards the outside. And I'm going to take this Cosette eyeshadow in Jack. This is an indigo blue with a very green base. I'm taking this on a smaller blending brush. This is a small petite crease by Zoeva. It's a little bit dense, so I can deposit a little bit more color while also being able to blend it. And I'm really deepening that inner part of the eye. Now I'm taking a small flat shader brush and going on the edge of the brush with that blue. Tap some of the excess off. I do this every single time I pick up eyeshadow. This is super important. And I'm sketching a new socket, basically. Going back in with my fluffy brush. Now I'm going to take some of my white TV paint stick from Krylon. I have the one in 070 and I'm going to take this on my concealer brush which is a bit fluffy. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm just dabbing the color in. And now I'm gonna go over top of that with Bouquet by Neve Cosmetics. This is more of a um, violet a light violet blue. And I'm also going to take some of Makeup Geek's black light, which I just broke on the same brush, and I'm going to take a very small amount of this. I want just a hint of this right here. Now I'm going to use leftover foundation to make this line a little bit more prominent. I'm not going to completely carve this out. Just making it a little bit more prominent. And I was thinking of going kind of the predictable route and doing a very large winged liner now. But... Oh, wait a minute, because I just messed up. Um, but I actually want to bring some of this shape underneath. So I'm basically just kind of going to follow my ocular bone. I'm just taking this small fluffy brush that I was using before that's still dirty from that blue and I'm bringing it down. And now going back into Jack by Cosette on my small flat shader brush I'm gonna follow this shape again just following that shape I want my lines as straight as possible, but I'm not trying to make this look perfectly symmetrical. And this side I'm bringing it almost all the way around, and on this side I'm leaving more of a clear gap and starting the color a little bit more down low. And now I'm taking another indigo blue. This one is by Inglot and it's the shade 321, and this one has more of a purple base. And this one I'm pressing onto the lower lash line, very close to the lower lash line, but on the outer part of the eye. I'm actually starting to blend this into the inner corner a little bit, but just a tiny bit, not too much. Going too far in, this is not what I want. Actually, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm doing things, okay? I'll figure it out. I'm blending this a little bit onto the outer corner. This brush is dirty from the other indigo blue, the one with the green base, so it's going to mix up a little bit on the outer corner. Not necessarily intentional, not non-intentional. I'm just doing things. I did film a Pat McGrath recreation a while ago, but um, it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. And I was gonna do it again, and I didn't feel like it. You know, sometimes I just don't feel like recreating someone else's looks, and also I think that's what went wrong with the original video that I made. I was. Uh, too stuck and I didn't follow my way of doing things and 
that generally does not work for me. I'm still gonna try to do it eventually, but right now um, I just want to do whatever I want. I'm gonna take some white around this. A little halo of lightness around this area here. I'm gonna go back into Bouquet from Neve Cosmetics. Blend some of this around the edges of this area here. Take some of black light as well. I'm taking some white on the inner corner with some crappy brush. And I'm going to take the white from the Saucebox Etude palette. This is more of a soft white, it's not a stark, stark white. And I'm going to take it over top of that. And I'm also going to bring this onto the lid just to set that foundation that I have there so that it doesn't crease. You guys should see the mess that I make when I'm doing these looks. It's not pretty whatsoever. The worst part is having to clean it up. I'm taking a dark blue pencil. This is from Kiko Intense Long Lasting Eyeliner in 14. And I'm just taking it on the waterline and smudge it into my lashes. I'm rubbing the Kiko Eyeshadow Stick, the darker blue, onto my lower lashes. And this creates kind of a colored mascara situation. I don't know what I want to do with my lashes, so I'm just gonna finish my face. Again, I will be using the Dermacol foundation. Not too much of it, just enough to give me the coverage that I need. I'm not squeezing the tube whatsoever, I'm just taking whatever's left on the tip. This tiny amount is more than enough foundation for my whole face. It gives me quite a lot of coverage already. Now I'm taking the white and I'm gonna highlight. I'm bringing the highlight onto the center of my face as well. I'm using the white from Saucebox, the eyeshadow that I used before, just to blend these two together. Check out the illusion of the white in that area there. It really creates a fake swollen under eye. That's contouring for you. Doesn't just make you look like Kim Kardashian. I'm also taking some of this onto the center of my forehead. I ran out of space in my memory card, so I had to go and clean it up but I did highlight my forehead and um, top of my lip and chin and a little bit on my nose, but I'm gonna highlight my nose a little bit more, I think. I'm gonna take the white on a smaller brush. I'm keeping the top here uh, kind of light and blended. It's quite hard to do this because my nose is very uneven. I have to do the contour first and then I'll see about my nose. Now I'm going to take Hollow Cream Pigment from Illamasqua. And I'm going to start the contour on my cheeks. And I'm also going to take it on my nose but uh, I'm going right on top of the bridge and I'm going to take this latte shade from the Lorac Pro Matte palette and I'm going to start bringing this down. It's quite hard talking you through when I'm so concentrated but I really didn't want to do um, a voiceover I hate doing voiceovers and I can never find music that I like for videos, so we're not doing that. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna make the contour too sharp. I think this is about as much as this look can handle. 
and I'm gonna highlight afterwards so this is where I'm, this is where it's staying. I'm gonna take another cream pigment from Ilamasca. This is in Depravity and I'm taking this as my blush on top of my cheeks and into my temple. Now back into some black light from Makeup Geek on a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna fluff this into my temples on top of that cream pigment. And now this again. I need more green just for a little bit more pop so I'm gonna take Alien from Nebe Cosmetics. I'm gonna do something that I might regret on the tip of my nose and it's gonna be a snot nose. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take this Inglot pigment, AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in number 29. This is a very bright yellow with some shimmer. And I'm gonna take this on my brush and I'm going to wet it a little bit. This is some water with glycerin on my inner corners, right over that white. And just bring a little bit of this yellow onto the green that I have around my face, just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm also going to take it a little bit on the tip. For the actual highlighting of the nose, I will take this Catrice High Glow Light Infusion Highlighter. And on the actual bridge, I'm just taking it in between my brows. I'm sorry if this is a really boring video. This is looking a bit more clowny than what I was anticipating. Now I'm taking some RCM Aino color powder and I am just setting the sides of my nose and the center of my nose bridge and also the center of my forehead. I'm gonna leave the rest of my face quite glowy. I'm also gonna use some of this Catrice highlighter just right here. And now to tie the whole look together, hopefully, with the purples on the cheeks and all of this green and yellow, I'm gonna go in with a Sephora lip stain in the shade 101. And I'm going to apply this on the center of my lips and then blend it out with a brush. I'm not sure if I'm liking the nose. I feel like it's a little bit too... Instagram, you know how everyone's doing the clown noses? For a while now, actually. I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush that I used to blend and just take it on my cheeks. Being very careful and very light about it because I don't want to make a mess. I'm just layering glosses now. I did the YSL a uh, vinyl couture something something and now I'm going in with an essence metal shock in pink. I just like the idea of having a little bit more of an orangey tint in the center so the, um, the YSL one I used was a bit more orange. It wasn't a bit more orange it was straight up orange but it looks kind of more like an orangey red in the center of this lip right now. And this is a pink one, obviously. I cannot speak right now, I'm so sorry. I'm looking kind of like a clown and I don't know if looking like a clown is what I wanted. I was thinking more editorial and I ended up Halloween, but we're fine. I just drew a line, kind of like if I was doing a winged liner with my Career Beauty La Rose de Versailles liquid eyeliner. I'm really just doing the wing. I don't think I'm going to do a full-on eyeliner. 
I'm just creating a little bit of a wing. Um, I don't know what I think of this, but I'm just gonna stop and um, I'm gonna do my hair and I will be right back. So I just messily put my hair up and threw on my denim jacket because I am a casual clown. But yeah, this is the look. I know this was kind of a random video and I hope it wasn't too boring for you because I'm pretty sure I was quiet for most of it. But this is literally how I am when I am in the zone. I just start doing things and I do not talk. I can't really be completely creative and talk at the same time, it just doesn't really work for me. Still, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below because, as you know, those make me so happy. All of the love for those who leave me comments. As usual, there will be a list in the description box with all of the products used in this tutorial, as well as links to all of my social media and other stuff. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!